All right, Saturday morning, and a beautiful morning it is. It's actually about 10.30. Uh, we're going to be leaving here in 15, 20 minutes. We're going to uh, Mentor on the Lake. Uh, we already have the van hooked up, and we have the trailer hooked up because we're going to get a 240. So Mike's here, and Hoover's going with me. Uh, so we're, the three of us are going down there, and we're going to pick that up. And then on the way back, We'll hit Lyndhurst, and that's where one saltwater fish is. So we'll take a five, we've already got a five gallon bucket. We'll get him transported and brought back as well. All right, so uh, we'll get this started here soon. All right, we're getting ready to take off and uh, <laughs> Mike gets the most comfortable seat in the house. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here and get going then. Brian? Yeah. Minor food video? Come on in. All right, so we're here. We're on uh, Mineral Lake. We're with Brian. And so it we looks like you're moving in or? I'm um, just totally gutting this whole room. Ah. Uh, Got this 250 gallon tank. Uh, the stand isn't much to look at, but it definitely does work. Okay. Got a rainbow lifeguard uh, UV sterilizer. Okay. And, look, and look at this bad boy for a light <laughs> right here. It's like $1,500 when he bought it six years wow. ago. Got a 404 Fluval okay. that comes with it. And out back right there, I got some rock to, for you to take home and uh, some other goodies. All right, all right. Well, uh, <laughs> um, these two are going to be doing it, so uh, I'm going to let them decide on how they want to do it, all actually. Right. How do you so, lift something like this? What you do, you got to tip it backwards, and what you got to do, and then you got to pull it out a little bit where you can get both of your hands under there, and then you got to, like, cock it, crook it on a stand. So... Down inside of the tank. Mm. It's not gonna do it. No, no, it'd be. I tried to store it that way. Yeah, no, it's as long as the tank. It'll be at an angle and it'll bounce and. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna put it on the. We could put it inside of the stand probably, or on top of the stand and tie it down. That's what we're gonna do. Put this on the wood in front of the tank, right? A couple more of them styrofoams between it, and then that stand right behind it. You can do that. And then the ratchet straps around it. Yeah, there's a big difference. Watch all that dog on. Piece of soup. That would be right there. Should be fine That's where it's at. Good, yeah. Yep. All right, we got that part done, and uh, <laughs> so we'll head around the corner. I guess he has a few other things to pick up and put on here. All right, so he has some rocks and things of that sort, and we're gonna grab them. And besides, you'd have to fill that with salt water in this order to right keep here, them going. Toad, yeah. You can pick this toad up and you can pour the water out and it's easier to catch the fish in there. Yeah, we're just bringing one little fish. So you're going to put the salt water in here with him? Yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. That's not salt water. No, that's, no, fresh water. that's okay. our fresh water container. Yeah. All right, so we got everything loaded up, tied up. All right, Brian, thank you very much. You're we appreciate very welcome, Evan, guys. everything. Great Have a good work. weekend, Brian. I know it's going to a good place. If I got any more for you at another home, 
All right. Yep. We appreciate it. You have a good day. You too. Yep. All right, guys. Time to move on to number two. We're going to head to Lorraine, or no, Lyndhurst, and pick up a saltwater fish. All right. We're here at our second stop, which appears to be a business here at Care Design. So I'll go in and talk to Bill here. Alrighty, buddy, uh, and this is Bill here, and this is his tank, and it is in the business, and we're taking the long nose, the fox nose, fox nose, that one guy, right there, the big guy. So we did bring a container. We will have to, uh, you know, take some of the salt water out of here in order to transport them home. How much? Because then you got to replace it. Mm-hmm. We'll need at least that much in our bucket. Okay, so do you, are you going to replace that water? Um, oh, we didn't bring any salt with us, uh, no. Um, well, you know what, let me call my guy and see if he can come down here. All right, all right, Hold on. no problem. So we're going to be able, uh, his friend Kevin's going to come by and help him out. So we're going to take about that much water out, and we'll go ahead and get him transferred into our bucket and get him back to OFR. Okay. So we'll go get the supplies we need. Thank you. All right, yeah. All right Hoover's going to get some of the water out, and then we'll go ahead and get the fish out. All right, well, that didn't take long, and we already have him in there. So we'll get the cover on, and we'll get him outside, and we'll get the air out of him immediately and get him back to OFR. Not bad. All right, we made it back to OFR, no problem. Uh, I already took the little fish back there, and we'll get him acclimated. And then we'll see what he wants to do with the tank and stand and so forth. Or did he tell you? I was standing here, and there he is. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here, gentlemen? Did he say it held water? He didn't say. Um, Don't forget the. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> Look at the the seals. It looks like it's been clawed at with a, a, a reptile or something. He did have uh, some weird other animals there but he had birds and some other stuff yeah all right we're gonna get this guy acclimated to the salt water here and we'll wait a bit and then get him acclimated boy he sure did lose a lot of color already he was yellow and black but wow amazing what stress does to a fish all right we got that one or 250 off and so forth and josh uh Mike and Hoover got it off and moved over there. They already restapled most of the stand back together. And now I think we're maybe talking about getting that 1,000 moved. I'm not sure. Getting everything set up for uh, sale. That'll probably be in a week or so. All right, we're going to put them in. We don't have to quarantine since this is the only saltwater tank we got. All right. God dang it. Oh, got him. Wow, he was yellow. That's a fox face. Fox face. I said, you said fox, fox horn. horn. <laughs> I'm like, right. I've never heard of that fish. <laughs> I'm before. learning. I'm learning. Do me a hey. favor. Uh, if you have no tongs, grab that because it fell in. Right. <laughs> he's in there. He's acclimated and he's hiding in the back corner. Like oh, he was hide before. Yeah. He was hiding in his tank. That's why I got rid of him. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm surprised because he was the biggest fish. The other fish were all about that size or slightly bigger. But they. I don't know why he was so afraid of everybody, but he was. But he should be all right. All right. I mean, Hoover, we're gonna make a quick run to Burger King so everybody can eat. So we're gonna go do that real quick. All right, these guys are chowing down on all that good food we brought back from Burger King. Except for Josh, he's still out there working on a few things. But uh, all right, we're gonna get out. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, everybody, everything went just fine, and we got that. Fox nose, I believe that's what it's called, not fox horn. No wonder Josh or Big Rich never heard of it. Hey, you know, I barely know my fresh water, let alone we're going to start with the salt water stuff now. But yeah, it was great. Uh, glad was Mike. Uh, Mike was around to help us out. He's been a great help. <clears throat> uh, everything was good. Um, I'm going to be taking off, so my next video is going to be like a pre-recorded thing. Uh, I'm taking off uh, with Dawn. She's been wanting to do some primitive camping for the longest time, so we're going to do it. Um, I'll be back Wednesday. 
Um, so uh, the next video after this one will be sort of a pre-recorded but hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'll have a video after that of our primitive camping because uh, I do like to do that kind of stuff I know it's a fish channel and this and that but I am behind the scenes and sometimes I gotta get away and do my thing so uh, you guys stay fishing, my friends. Hit that like, subscribe, and share, and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.